Catania is the second largest city in Sicily with a population of just over 300,000. It is situated on the east coast of the island at the base of the active volcano Mount Etna. We hadn't done much research of the city before arriving, instead planning to explore and find out about the place for ourselves. Good morning and welcome to Catania in Sicily. Um, we got here last night and um, we're out and about today to go exploring. And there's certainly some nice things to see, um, like this square for example. I don't know if you can make that out because of the sun. That's where we're going through just now is the central section basically um, between now and the, there's a, a street with four churches on it apparently and um, there's also a very nice park You see a lot of our videos are through vegetable markets, fruit and vegetable markets in Italy. We approached the Porta Garibaldi, which turned out to be the gate we had been walking towards. We came across the monumental cemetery of Catania next and ventured inside. This cemetery contains rows of ornate vaults, each one dedicated to an entire family as opposed to people being buried in individual graves. It really was an impressive sight. We finished with the cemetery and had what turned out to be quite an interesting walk back into town for lunch. It's always nice to see both sides of a city. building we're staying in. We'd been on our feet for a few hours now, so we headed back to the room to freshen up a bit before going back out for the evening. We came back out refreshed and headed to the northern part of the centre, first of all going to the area around the monastery, then up to Parco Mastranzi, where we would plan to start looking for something to eat for dinner.
Although Sicily is all about the food, we do usually try and sample Indian food in other countries if we have the time, just to see how it is. So we went to a restaurant imaginatively titled Indian Curry and had what turned out to be decent Indian food in Catania. So the next morning it was back to the station and onwards up the coast to our next destination, the hilltop town of Taormina. For all that Catania sits right at the foot of Mount Etna, you don't actually see much of it going around the city, so this train journey gave us our first proper view of the volcano. It felt a bit surreal to think we were so close to an active volcano that had erupted as recently as 2020. But that was us for Catania now. Maybe it hadn't quite grabbed us the same way Syracuse did, but it was still a good place to walk about in and definitely had plenty to see and do for a day. And also, given this channel is Indo Scott Travels, and I know a lot of our subscribers are Indian, it is worth knowing that if you really need it, there is decent Indian food here. Look forward to seeing Taormina next, probably the most picturesque of the Sicilian towns we went to. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy watching our videos, then please hit the like button and subscribe for more content.